thanks for visiting my channel. Today we're making Mississippi pot roast, one of my favorites. It's super simple and so delicious. So what you're going to start with is uh, about a three, three to five pound chuck roast. Um, I've went ahead and seared mine in my cast iron skillet. You can skip the searing step if you don't want to do that, but it really adds a nice depth of flavor. So you just want to sear it for about four minutes in a screaming hot pan and about two tablespoons of um, olive oil for about four minutes on each side. So I've already done that. So we're going to go ahead and put him in the crock pot. Super simple crock pot meal. Then we're going to add some flavors. Now, the first thing we're going to add is a packet of ranch seasoning. I love the craft, but Hidden Valley also makes one. And then you're going to use a packet of the au jus gravy. Now, there are different variations on this recipe. Um, some called for the French onion soup. Um, I've used brown, a, a brown, brown gravy packet in a pinch. Um, anything beefy, gravy-ish um, will work. I've also used uh, a, a can of my home canned uh, French onion soup too for this. Um, so any of those things will work. But we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle our pot roast with our seasoning packets. Just sprinkle that down over the top. And then we're going to add a stick of butter. Now, if you use butter for this recipe, I recommend you use the Kerrygold. It's really high quality. Uh, just make sure you use a nice high quality butter um, in this recipe. If you're cutting, watching calories and cutting fat, because this does add a lot of calories to it. Um, I did some calculations um, and it does add a lot of calories and fat, especially to this dish. Um, you can use just half a stick if you want to cut the calories. If you don't want the calories at all, um, you can use um, a cup of low-fat milk instead, or um, I've even used a cup of water instead when I really wanted to be careful how much fat I had. So it's kind of up to you. The idea is it's the um, roast is going to make its own gravy as it slow cooks in your crock pot. So uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use the butter. Um, I usually don't. I usually, like I said, just use a little bit of water because we're not going to add any more liquid to this. Um, but the idea is to make a gravy as it cooks. So I'm going to go ahead and put my butter in. And you don't need to cut it up or anything. Just go ahead and put it on the top. And then last but not least, we are going to use some pepperoncinis. So good, adds tons of flavor. Now this is going to be to your taste. Um, the original recipe calls for, different recipes call for different numbers. I've seen as many as four, or as few as four, and as many as eight. So it's kind of up to your flavor profile. Obviously, the more peppers you add, the spicier your dish is going to be. So if you like it really spicy, add half a jar. If you don't groove on spice and you just want a little bit of flavor, just add about four, but I'm going to add, I'm going to do about eight. And then I also add a little bit of the juice just because I love that flavor. And then you just put your lid on and you're going to cook it on low for eight hours or on high for four. Super simple. Uh, once it starts cooking, um, I go ahead and flip it over and kind of mix in the um, seasoning packets because they're just kind of sitting on top of the meat. So once it starts to cook, I kind of mix that around and give my roast a flip and then let it finish. So anyway, super simple, really delicious, and I will bring you back when we're done cooking it. Okay guys, we're halfway through our cooking time. I just want to bring you in close and show you how our roast is doing. See how it's created all this beautiful juice and gravy. So now we're just going to give them a little turnover. Just kind of stir things around a little bit. Put the lid back on and finish cooking them.
Okay guys, we're back. Our pot roast is all done and I want to show you how beautiful it is. You want to cook it till it's nice and tender and it pulls apart easily uh, with a fork. Doesn't that look delicious? Um, like I said, it does make a gravy as it cooks. Um, and I did show you the original recipe. This is how you make Mississippi pot roast. But I do want to add my opinion and this is just my opinion on the matter. I personally leave out the stick of butter. I think it's too, it's too oily, in my opinion. I prefer to use the pan, the pan juices, um, and make my own gravy. Um, this is delicious, but I just feel like the butter adds, it's too, it's too much for me. <laughs> That's just my opinion. There are other people who absolutely love the butter in it. Um, I just don't need the extra calories and I think you still get those wonderful flavors from the pepperoncinis and the other seasoning packets that you use. I just don't feel like you need the butter. So it's up to you. Um, like I said, I don't use the butter. Um, but if you don't mind the extra fat and you want the extra flavor, by all means, go ahead. So anyway, you have the original recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Try your own vari variation on it if you choose to. Um, but again, you don't need all that fat to have all the flavor. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.